Good Saturday morning. I'm going to take my crock pot and make some beef and 15 bean soup in it. I do not use, I like ham in the soup, but this isn't ham. This is very salty ham flavoring, and I don't like a lot of salt or sodium. I have heart problems. So I'm going to probably throw this packet in the trash, season it my own way, starting off by using beef and veggies to season it. So I'm going to get all this cut up, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I got my crock pot on high. I'm going to drizzle a little olive oil in the bottom. Alright. Oh, that, I was like, what is that? This is a whole medium white onion. You need white, yellow, whatever you got. And you always want to keep a little onion for putting on top when you're done. I'm going to put in some of this minced garlic. This is a whole green bell pepper, a big one, and um, two each of the little yellow and orange, I mean yellow and red peppers. Okay, that's gone in. Okay, next up, I've been thawing this all morning, but it's not thawed, it's going in anyway. It's about a pound, pound and a half of ground meat, ground beef. Turkey, beef, whatever. I like the beef. Let me, let me get your twos, twos. Okay. When the beef's done, then we're going to add the beans. <laughs> I want to make sure that meat gets good and done. Okay, next up, a little bit of cumin. I'm going to go ahead and put this up, too. I don't like to have a lot of stuff out. Too little of a kitchen. Oops. So cumin, a little chili powder, some Tony's, and you can use any kind of seasoning you want, uh, pepper. powder, and onion powder. Okay. Let's put this back just a hair. Would you put that olive oil back over there, please, ma'am? Uh, like I said, I got part of an onion reserved to chop up to put on the top. When it's done, I like a little more onion on my beans. Okay, I'm going to move these over here in case we need to use them again. So I have her moving back and forth. i got to get everything off the stove because the oven's on. We haven't eaten anything yet today. And this is going to take a while. So, I've got some corn dogs in there. Now I have a can of beef broth. I'm going to go ahead and add it now so that it can keep this meat from sticking to the bottom. If it wasn't frozen, I'd just sit here till I'm done cooking all the meat, but it's frozen. Okay. So I'm going to put this lid on, and we're going to let this meat cook a while, and I'll get back with you. So I'm going to crumble this up a little bit. No, it's not cooked yet. I'm just getting it crumbled. But it will cook. And it is going to boil in this pan of beans for numerous hours. So I'm just going to just push and turn with my meat chopper. Dump these in. Yes, I know the meat has to finish cooking, and it will. It'll cook while the beans cook, because they're cooked together. Let me get this. Try 
try not to burn myself. And like I said, I am not using that salty ham packet. Ugh. Let me go rinse these beans and I'll get right back to you. And this, y'all might like it. I don't. I just think it's just way too salty. So I'm going to throw this in the trash. Alright, I'll be right back. and sort it. And I don't throw out the ones that break in half. Because <laughs> some of them bust while you cook them anyway. It's not going to change the taste of the bean. I don't know. You can. I've seen people that won't eat a bean that's broken. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to add a whole lot of water now. So I'm going to fill up this pitcher. And then I'll use the pitcher to make us some tea. The tea's ready. It's got to dilute it. Next up, we're giving the dog a bath. He'll be so happy. He hates me. So, buddy, I'm going to give you a bath next. He starts shaking his head no. <laughs> okay, so I got here a little over two quarts of water, and I dropped my rag on the floor. Because I'm klutzy. I'm going to make sure I cover these beans good. Might not need the hoe two quarts. Okay, pouring it out. I will not use tap water to drink or in anything that doesn't cook for a long time. Now I'm going to season it again and then put the seasonings up. Put a little Tony's. Passing these down. So this will probably go in the trash. A little chili powder. Passing it down. A little cumin. Pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Now, if you'll hand me the uh, garlic salt. I did want a little bit on top. I just didn't want much. I just don't want to make them salty. Okay. That's it, folks, for now. Okay, I'm putting the lid on. I'm going to put these seasonings up. And I'm going to go bathe the dog. Talk to you later. Okay, so I was watching Amazon World Hall, <laughs> and I saw her Worcestershire sauce. I'm like, that's what I forgot. Usually when I'm cooking the beef, I add a little Worcestershire. So I'm going to add it now. Okay. Give it a stir. Now, I'm going to taste my juice and a bit of my food and see if there's anything I want to add, because I usually do need more seasonings. I just don't put the salty stuff in at the beginning. I don't want it to get too salty. You know what I mean? You can always add seasonings. You can't take them away. So, I'm going to get a little bit here. Mmm. That's going to be so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. I think I'm going to put a little Tony's. Would you hand me the Tony's, please, ma'am? And a little seasoning salt. I don't want to make it too spicy for my daughter. Just a little. And a little pepper. And I think that's it. And I'm just going to let this keep cooking. Probably by about, hmm, it's almost 4, I'd say about 5, 30, 6 o'clock. This should be perfect. Nice, tender, delicious beans. All right, y'all. I'm going to put the lid on. And I'll get back with you. I know you can't smell it, but I wish you could. It's done. So I'm going to turn it down to just warm. So to keep it warm. And I am going to fix this of all of this. Look at that. Beans and meat and veggies. Oh, and then you want raw onion on top? 
and then I put a little raw onion on top, and then get a little more bell pepper going in here, oh yeah, and a little more onion, and there you have it, and that is my bean soup, y'all take care and eat something good.